Hello everyone, I'm Iriris. Today I'm going to talk about Detective Conan. I'll be discussing Detective Conan Manga Chapter 1103 today. First, let's quickly recap the happenings in this chapter. We see Wakita bringing sushi to Ran and Kagoro on the first page. When Wakita mentions that she hasn't seen Conan around, Kagoro responds that Conan left when he received a phone call. Together with the class teacher and the assistant class teacher, Conan attended the chess tournament with his friends. We see Wakita on the second page, remembering the incident that occurred 17 years ago. Rom smiled as he stood over Haneda Koji's lifeless body. We see kids, Wakasa, Kobayashi, and Shiratori on the other page. To wish Shiratori luck in the tournament, Kobayashi presents him with a keychain shaped like a chess piece. Hybera talks about chess to the other kids. After hearing Hybera speak, Wakasa says that her mother is the one who taught her how to play chess and that she wants to meet her. Hybera claims her mother died shortly after giving birth. Conan, of course, interrupts and says Professor Agassiz taught them. Meanwhile, four people come to them. Kurumi Shiroi, Kinji Agawara, Naoto Kishitani, and Kunikazu Kasaki. They talk about their own lucky charms. Kinji says someone made Amazing Grace their phone ringtone last year. While others are talking about it, Kurimi switches the topic. Finally, the tournament begins. Kuroda is Shiratori's first challenger in the competition. Others are waiting outside the tournament hall's entrance. The song Amazing Grace starts to play right then. Shiratori and Kuroda are seen coming to the children together in the other panel. The music was coming from a cell phone that had become wedged between the window and the curtain. Shiratori suddenly becomes aware that Kobayashi had given him a fortunate charm, which he had lost. He then informs the others that he left something in the tournament hall and goes in search of the key ring. Kobayashi meets Kuroda. Kuroda says to have met Wakasa. Then Wakasa says they haven't seen each other since the camp incident. Then Wakasa and Kuroda have the following conversation. Naoto is seen using the toilet in the other panel. While Kinji and Kurumi approach him, Kunikazu, on the other hand, grabs a drink from the vending machine. They hear an odd noise. This sound reminds them of the phone ringing during the tournament, and they begin to discuss it. In actuality, the sound they had heard was the sound of an arrow passing by and being trapped in the wall. Kinji, Kuroda, Wakasa, Kobayashi, and the children are sitting in the waiting room. Kinji's lucky glass is shattered by an arrow as he is in the middle of drinking from it. Conan and Kuroda depart the room after declaring that the arrow was fired from the hallway. Conan notices that the sign for cleaning the toilet has changed as they run. Then Conan and Kuroda discover Naoto's body, shot by three arrows in the toilet. The Kiring Shuratori is looking for is on the ground. This is the chapter's quick summary. I think it was a good chapter. Since this chapter, I believe it has become obvious that Wakasa is a Sokka. These scenes, in my opinion, make it obvious. Despite my poor drawing skills, we can also tell that Waksa had both of her eyes in good health 17 years ago. But why was Kuroda there, I wonder? As you are know, the chess tournament took place outside of Japan. Kuroda most likely went there on a job. What is this job? Something like catching Rom or protecting Haneda Koji? But why would someone who should be under police protection travel to another country for a chess match? Because of this, I believe that the first of the two possibilities is most likely to happen. Of course, it could be something else. I also stated that Kuroda reacted to Akasa's name, but I was incorrect. He reacted her face. 
It's not acceptable to forget Rom if we're talking about 17 years ago. Do you think Rom murdered Koji? Only thing we see he smirks while looking at Koji's body. We didn't see him kill or anything that proves it. Of sure he was involved in his death, but do you think Rom himself killed Koji? Or is this just a misdirection? Another point I'd want to bring up concerning Rom is whether or not it will attend this tournament. Do you think Rom will attend this tournament? As you know, he also started looking into Wakasa. Another interesting point for me in the chapter is the Waxa Hybera Conan conversations. As we've previously discussed, Hybera acts differently around Wakasa than she usually does. This chapter also drew my attention to the stares she gave Conan. She seemed to be saying, shut up, and stay out of it. She definitely stated this to Akasa on purpose, but I'm not sure what she's planning. Talking about the murder in this chapter, I believe it was committed in revenge. But who is the killer? I'm not sure. Who do you think is the killer? Please share your views with me in the comments. That's it for today. Thanks for watching the video till the end.